Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is a short video that's been prompted by a subscriber who wanted to know how to set up their HTX radio to be able to automatically put the undercarriage down when the, the plane drops below a certain altitude. Now I'd be cautious with this that the barometer that you may have in the plane is accurate enough to do this. Uh, so I would be cautious and check your settings very carefully. Um, but anyway, here we go. I'm going to swap over to the radio and show you how I came up with the program for this. Right now, let's take a look at the settings on the radio. I'm going to show you this parrot fashion uh, because it is a, there's quite a lot of logical switches to get this to work. So, and don't forget, there are many ways of programming. So out there, someone could do it differently. Right, I'm going to the logical switches first and you can see I've got logical switch one. And you see I'm using rotary switch S2. If I edit this now, you can see now in here in V1, you would change that to be the telemetry um, reading that you're getting back for your uh, height above the ground. So this is just purely so that I can demonstrate this working by turning the, the switch to be able to do this. So let's go back. So I'm going to return. Then you've now got to make a sticky switch, which is the next logical switch, logical switch two. You select sticky and then logical switch one and uh, switch SA in the um, back position. So if you see, there we go. So this is the switch that we um, lower the undercarriage with, the gear. Okay, then we've got three more logical uh, switches here, which are logical switch three and not logical switch two. That's what this means, not logical switch two. The next one, logical switch four is and, not logical switch three. Then logical switch five is and, not logical switch six, six and switch SA in the opposite position, in the position towards us. Then the final one is logical six switch, which is or, your um, gear switch in the forward position and logical switch four. Now, as I say, it's parrot fashion because it is quite complex to get this to do what I needed to do safely. So let's have a look. Now in the special functions, what I've done, I've set up uh, gear down, gear up, auto, which tells you that it's working automatically or it's going to be manually um, lowered or brought back up again, the undercarriage. So this you would just go, you just pick the logical switch and then say play, you select play track and then you pick the, pick the track that you want to play when that switch is activated. And you saw there was a logical switch there, so you can do that. Right now, let's go to the rest of the programming. So this is not necessary, but I put flight modes in. You can see flight mode zero just says manual. Flight mode two, all you would type in in the description is auto and you select switch SD. If I just bring one of those up just to show you, you can see there's nothing else in there. It's just the name of the flight mode and then switch SD, which is to do with the automatic um, changing to automatic undercarriage control. Right, we come back out and we're going to go along. Mix inputs will be the same mixes. Now, on channel six, which is now if we were using an Express LRS receiver, we'd have to use channel six. You can see the mix it, the mixes for that channel to make this work. So let's just uh, edit it. And you can see I've selected max, which means it will move the full movement. And I've put a weight of minus 100. And then we go down to logical switch. And this has to be logical switch. A logical switch six has to be active. And there's nothing else. We come back out. We go to the next line and we're going to edit that and have a look. You can see same again, max. This is minus 100 and we go down and it's now this one is logical switch four. Come back out, go down to the next line of that channel and edit. And you can see it's max. This time it's plus 100. Offset is zero and the logical switch is five. Right, let's come back out of there and go over, Oops, back out again, over. Right, now that is everything we would need to do to be able to get this to work. Now, if I show you, I'm going to go to where we can see the channel. You can see here that the gear is 
down. So the default would be to make sure that you didn't accidentally have the undercarriage come up is down. If I change, the gears come up. So up and then down. Now, if we would we would take off, we'd put the gear down. That's right, big button, we put the gear up. Now we can switch it to auto. And it shows it's auto on the front. Now, when the aeroplane dropped below the level you wanted to, this will happen. If I move this, there we go, and it's told you the gear's gone down. Now, it doesn't matter what, what we do here, nothing will change. The only time it will change, because obviously you don't want the undercarriage coming down or up as you're driving along, you're coming along the uh, taxiway, is to when you push the, the main gear switch forward. Nothing happens, you see because it's down now if you uh, it's um down now if you want it to come back up again yeah. there you go we're back to normal again so there we go it's it's very parent fashion it's just me showing you the programming and all the logical switches and i'm sure there's someone else out there who would be able to do that differently but that will get the result you want but as i said earlier just be careful of using this i personally wouldn't use this but someone asked me how to program it and i've now showed you how to do that Please ensure that you check your model settings thoroughly before arming or flying your model. Well, there we go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I really would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Okay.